Well, we're dedicated to finding answers to your questions about the coronavirus. Yes, and there are a lot of questions about a drug called hydroxychloroquine. First, what is it? Well, our Heather Brown asked a researcher studying it at the U of M. Hydroxychloroquine is a um, old school anti-malarial drug. It was first FDA approved in 1955, mm -hmm. and it was initially used for malaria. Another um, property that it has is it is an immunosuppressant, and it mm -hmm. so sort of suppresses the immune system a little bit, and so it's commonly used for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis as a, a, a standard medication. So the key question, can the drug treat COVID-19? The U of M trial is one of several around the country trying to find the answer to that. The doctor that Heather spoke with said that there have been four studies published, all between 10 to 30 people. It's just not well done studies, and so it's hard to know what to make of it. There's some hint that, hey, this is a promising thing, but no real data to suggest that it works. And so in our trials, we're trying to actually prove that it works. Some hospitals are giving hydroxychloroquine to seriously ill patients, but only after serious discussions between the doctors, patient, and a panel of experts. There's also concern that lupus patients who need the drug may not be able to get it. Send us your questions. Just email them to tips at WCCO.com. Also, Dr. Bulware is looking for people who may have had COVID-19 and symptoms to be part of those tests, and we have information about that at WCCO.com as well.